Hi guys, this is a quick video to show you how to practice a straddle handstand. If you can do a press to handstand with straddle, there are a few drills that can help you. Here's a quick tutorial. Press to handstand from straddle. We have to have really open shoulders. So first thing we want to open and warm up the shoulders. Straight elbows, pushing the shoulders, tucking the tailbone in, and slowly starting moving forward when the elbows are still straight. Along with that, we want to keep our tailbone high not collapsing we're gonna add tend to go forward with the toes now this requires hamstring stretchability and flexibility but slowly we can work on it and if we can we can touch with the toes on our arms from here we're gonna straighten back pull the navel in notice that we can go down with a straight back how much we can go down with a straight back if I bend my back I want to keep it straight we're gonna take the toes to the hands and continue pushing with the shoulders We can do three reps. You can do maybe a bit more. Another warm up is sitting with a split, opening the hips as, as long as we can move forward and back with the pelvis. All right. From here, elongating the back. Elongating the shoulders, pushing the hands up, and start lowering the spine without collapsing in the hands. So the hands are an extension of the back. The stomach is in. And as much as you can, and go back up. As much as you can, and go back up. go back up also we can do that for three sets that was a quick warm-up it should take approximately 10 to 15 minutes until you feel that your shoulder is open enough the wrists are, wrists are warm enough and the hips started to open with the back after that we can do a more advanced variation with the wall so I'm gonna go to the wall to a handstand with a straddle and go to the negative position so I start from up and go down slowly 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 hopefully all the way down to the floor as long as I take my hands closer to the wall the intensity level is higher so if I want to make it a bit easier I take my hands further from the wall right so I start when my hands are approximately one feet from the wall and I go up and I move a little bit forward towards the wall with a split with a straddle pushing not collapsing and I want to go down with my legs while the tailbone still wants to go up I take my, my hands slowly back to the wall not all the way I keep my tailbone up and high and the legs come from the sides very slowly when the core is extremely engaged and you're really pushing from the shoulders again I'm going up going up hips above shoulders 
legs active, pointing, stomach is active, then this is a bit hard for me, so I go a bit forward and it will enable my flexibility. third exercise is going to be just a regular negative from a handstand to straddle. So of course you have to have a handstand to do, the, to do so. If you don't have a handstand practice yet with, without a wall, then it's a bit too advanced for you and you should just practice your regular handstand. So I'm going to a handstand. When I'm stable, I start to straddle my legs keep my tailbone up and push and start slowly slowly taking the hands the legs towards. you can repeat that three to five times and again only if you have a handstand you can practice the negatives to straddle to handstands our final goal is pressing from a straddle to handstand and it looks like uh, this. Already start when my stomach is deep in the belly button up, up. I take my hips above my hands, above shoulders, lift the heels if I need. My legs are a bit wider than my hands. Push, push and press and negative that's it guys i hope it helped please subscribe and see more videos